The argument from traditional Judaism is that both rabbinical and biblical law define Jewishness by matrilineal descent. The Mishnah and Tosefta reflect this view. The principal point in the Mishnah is to simply state that a child bears the halachic identity of the mother, whatever that may be. If the mother is Jewish, the child is Jewish. If the woman is not Jewish, then the child is not either. In three subsequent videos, we will review Mishnah Kiddushin, Tosefta Kiddushin, and Mishnah Yevamot to illustrate this concept. Matrilineal status has been the mainstay of Jewish identity for more than 2,000 years, and this view was only contravened by the Reform and Reconstructionist movements in the 20th century. Traditionally, if a child has a Jewish father but a non-Jewish mother, they may be designated as Zera Abraham, the seed of Abraham, but this is not equivalent to the status of a Jew. For counting an minion, marriage, Jewish burial, etc., the halachic status of such an individual is the same as that of a person with a non-Jewish mother and a non-Jewish father. The Reform and Reconstructionist movements believe, however, that patrilineal and matrilineal descent is an equally valid measure in determining Jewish identity. The decision to adopt this position may have been partly due to the increasing reality of intermarriages among their members. Their arguments for the validity of patrilineal descent, however, are also based on the various occurrences of intermarriage by Jewish men with non-Jewish women documented in the Bible. For example, Joseph married the Egyptian Asenat. Moses married a Midianite woman as well as a Cushite woman. King Solomon married various foreign wives. Perhaps the most famous example is the case of Ruth, the Moabite woman who eventually married Boaz. Their descendant was King David. In her case, the statement to her mother-in-law, Naomi, that your people shall be my people and your God will be my God, is accepted as having constituted a conversion. On the surface, these various examples would appear to support the equality of either matrilineal or patrilineal descent. Orthodox Jewish interpretation, however, has argued that the women above converted to Judaism upon marrying their husbands. This view removes the primary concern over intermarriage and also resolves the matter of Jewish status of children born to such a marriage. As a side note, while it is simplistic to summarize both Reform and Reconstructionist Jewish movements, they place a greater emphasis on belief, personal identification, and practice as they define it.